Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of morning prayer on Wednesday the 12th of July 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Warpole. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days, you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 110, starting at the first verse, is The Lord is King and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord is King and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. May the Lord stretch forth the scepter of your power. Power, Rule from Zion in the midst of your enemies. Noble are you on this day of your birth, on the holy mountain from the womb of dawn, the dew of your new birth is upon you. The Lord is King and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord has sworn and will not retract. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The king at your right hand, O Lord, shall smite down kings in the day of his wrath. The Lord is king and has put on glorious apparel. In all his majesty he shall judge among the nations, smiting heads over all the wide earth, he shall drink from the brook beside the way, therefore shall he lift his head. The Lord is king and has put on glorious apparel. Lord Jesus, divine son and eternal priest, inspire us with conf the confidence of your final conquest of evil and grant that daily on our way we may drink of the brook of your eternal life and so find courage against all adversities for your mercy's sake amen the refrain for psalm 111 starting at the first verse is the lord is gracious and full of compassion the lord is gracious and full of compassion Alleluia, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the faithful and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out by all who delight in them. His work is full of majesty and honour and his righteousness endures forever. He appointed a memorial for his marvellous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He gave food to those who feared him. He is ever, ever mindful of the covenant. He showed his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nation. The works of his hands are truth and justice. 
all his commandments are sure. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. They stand fast forever and ever. They are done in truth and equity. He sent redemption to his people. He commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have those who live by it. His praise endures forever. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. Gracious God, you are full of compassion. May we who long for your kingdom come to rejoice to do your will and acknowledge your power alone to save. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 112, starting at the first verse, is The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. Alleluia. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and have great delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land, a generation of faithful that will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in their houses and their righteousness endures forever. Light shines in the darkness for the upright. Gracious and full of compassion are the righteous. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. It goes well with those who are generous in lending and in order their fair affairs with justice, for they will never be shaken. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil things. Their heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. Their heart is sustained and will not fear until they see the downfall of their foes. They have given freely to the poor. Their righteousness stands fast forever. Their head will be exalted with honour. The wicked shall see it and be angry. They shall gnash their teeth in despair. The desire of the wicked shall perish. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. Generous God, save us from a meanness that calculates its interests and hoards its earthly gain. As we have freely received, so may we freely give in the grace of jesus christ our lord amen glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen our first scripture reading this morning is from nehemiah chapter 13 starting at the 15th verse In those days I saw in Judah people treading wine presses on the Sabbath and bringing in heaps of grain and loading them on donkeys, and also wine, grapes, figs, and all kinds of burden, which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I warned them at that time against selling food. Tyrians also, who live in the city, bought in fish and all kinds of merchandise and sold them on the Sabbath to the people of Judah, and in Jerusalem. Then I remonstrated with the nobles of Judah and said to them, What is this evil thing that you are doing, profaning the Sabbath day? Did not your ancestors act in this way? And did not our God bring all this disaster on us and on this city? Yet you bring more wrath on Israel by profaning the Sabbath. When it began to be dark at the gates of Jerusalem before the Sabbath, I commanded that the doors should be shut and gave orders that they should not be opened until after the Sabbath. And I set some of my servants over the gates to prevent any burden from being brought in on the Sabbath day. Then the merchants and sellers of all kind of merchandise spent the night outside Jerusalem once or twice. But I warned them and said to them, 
Why do you spend the night in front of the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time on, they did not come on the Sabbath, and I commanded the Levites that they should purify themselves and come and guard the gates to keep the Sabbath day holy. Remember this also in my favour, O my God, and spare me according to the greatness of your steadfast love. In those days also I saw Jews who had married women of Ashdod, Ammon, and Moab, and half of their children spoke the land of Ashdod, and they could not speak the language of Judah, but spoke the language of various peoples. And I contended with them, and cursed them, and beat some of them, and pulled out their hair. And I made them take an oath in the name of God, saying, You shall not give your daughters to their sons, or take their daughters for your sons, or for yourselves. Did not King Solomon of Israel sin on account of such women? Among the many nations there was no king like him, and he was beloved by his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, foreign women made even him to sin. Shall we then listen to you and do all this great evil and act treacherously against our God by marrying foreign women? And one of the sons of Jeholda, son of the great high priest Eliashba, was the son of Sambalat the Horahite. I chased him away from me. Remember them, O oh my God, because they have defiled the priesthood, the covenant of the priests and the Levites. Thus I cleansed them from everything foreign and established the duties of the priests and the Levites, each in his work, and I provided the wood offering at appointed time for the first fruits. Remember me, O oh my God, for good. A song of the word of the Lord. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts and your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Our second reading is from uh, the second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 2, starting at the fifth verse. But if anyone has caused pain, he has caused it not to me, but to, uh, but to some extent, not to exaggerate it, to all of you. This punishment by the majority is enough for such a person. So now instead you should forgive him and console him, so that he may not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. So I urge you to reaffirm your love for him. I wrote for this reason to test you and to know whether you are obedient in everything. Anyone whom you forgive, I also forgive. What I have forgiven, I have, if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of Christ. And we do this so that we may not be outwitted by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his designs. When I came to Troas to proclaim the good news of Christ, a door was opened for me in the Lord, but my mind would not rest because I did not find my brother, Titus, there. So I said farewell to him and went on to Macedonia. 
But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession, and through us spreads in every place the fragrance that comes from knowing him. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved, and among those who are perishing, to the one a fragrance from death to death. To the other, a fragrance from life to life. Who is sufficient for these purpose, for these things? For we are not peddlers of God's word like so many, but in Christ we speak as persons of sincerity, as persons sent from God and standing in his presence. Our responsory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Our Gospel Canticle this morning is the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. You show mercy to our ancestors and remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of, their, of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. Gracious God, as we gather ourselves for this day and for its many tasks, we ask you, to look upon this broken world, the damage, and forgive us for the damage we have done to your creation. And we ask for your grace and love for all those who have suffered as a result of climate change and other damage to the environment. And we pray that the church may be prophetic and brave in the face of opposition to defend you and all your works. We are asked today to pray for the social services, for all those who work in the criminal justice system, and to pray not only for the victims of crime, but also for the perpetrators of crime, that they may come to see the error of their ways. We gladly praise the work of all aid agencies from whatever source, working to better the lives of individuals in difficult circumstances throughout the world. And in this benefice we pray especially for those who are homeless, those who are living in poverty, and
those who are living under oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of the Church is governed and sacrificed, hear our prayer which we offer for all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry they may serve you in holiness and truth, to the glory of your name through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you uh, very much for joining us for our service of morning prayer in this benefice. Uh, we look forward to those who are available to join us for six o'clock this evening for night prayer Compline. My colleagues will be with you tomorrow, Thursday, at ten o'clock for an uh, sorry nine o'clock for another service of morning prayer. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. <laughs>